Hey, it's Emmy, and today we are getting right to work because we have got a very important mission. Now, as much as you know I like the laid-back approach to the game, well, we are nearing day 100, and I really want to be able to say that we, quote-unquote, beat the game, which basically just means we need to beat the dragon, but that means we need to get into the nether to get some blaze rods, so obviously we need to build ourselves a nether portal, but since this is better Minecraft after all, we've got more than one dimension to go into, so I figured we could just go ahead and build a multi-purpose portal, and we would have our portal for the blue skies dimensions as well as the nether dimension. So I took the liberty of already setting up the portal for the Everbright dimension. And I thought, you know, it'd be kind of cool to decorate each portal side with the blocks for that specific dimension. Which means we will just have to take a quick little trip into the Everdawn dimension and grab a few supplies from there. I mean, really, what, what could possibly go wrong? All right, well, we've already been into the Everbright dimension. I'll go ahead and light that. Ooh, it's so pretty. Um, but we have not been into the Everdawn dimension, and so we are going to have to run in there and grab some supplies real quick-like. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? All right, here goes nothing. Ooh, <laughs> so ominous sounding. Holy cow, that knocked out a lot of achievements all at once. All right, it is... It is rather dark here. It's kind of hard to see. Ooh! Holy cow! I don't know what that structure is, but... Uh, it reminds me of an end city. Is what, what is that noise? Okay, I'm not the only one that heard that, right? What is that? I don't like it. I don't like it. Not one single bit. No, I don't. Uh, I don't know if we should be going in here or not, but I'm... Oh, I'm so curious. All right, let me just... We can always make a... Ooh, the wizard's tower. Nice. Uh, we can always make a mad dash to the portal if we get scared. Let's just take a little peek up here. I'm assuming that we're going to run into the same problem where these tools are not going to be good enough. Oh, no, thank you. I do not want to go up there yet. I recognize the sound of that grunt. I mean, technically, we're only supposed to be here to get blocks so that we can decorate the portal. But how can we possibly not go and investigate that ginormous structure? Ooh. What is that thing? <laughs> it's oddly it's cuter than it sounds. Well, it's not attacking me, so I will just leave it alone and instead worry about coming over here and getting some wood. Oh, oh, dang, on it, really? That is ugly. That is ugly. It spits poison. It's like... I don't know, the the bad cousin of the cave spider or something. I don't like it. Alright, let me just try and whiz through here and get a little bit more wood. And then we'll grab some cobblestone or whatever it's called in this dimension. And I, I really like these trees. Actually, I hope we get uh, a few saplings that we can go plant when we get back home. That tower looks really pretty in the distance. All right, what is this glowing specimen over here? Oh, it's almost like a giant firefly. Oh, a very unfriendly giant firefly. Really? Oh, I don't like this. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Oh, I don't, don't want to die this early. Oh. Oh my gosh, I'm down to four hearts. All right, let me just make a mad dash back and collect myself for a minute. No, nope, not proud. I'm just going to run home for a second because I don't want anything else to get me. I've got no shelter. I just want to get my health back up and then we will, we will go again. Look, I see no shame in retreating or burying myself, whatever it takes. You know, we do what we got to do to keep ourselves safe, right? 
All right, I am going to just throw together a little makeshift shelter around this portal. Make no mistake about it, I am not going for anything pretty. I am just trying to get something that will keep us safe. That's just going to have to be good enough for now. Hello, this is Emmy from the future. And <laughs> right now I'm, I'm editing the video. And for some reason, when I paused and came back to the game, uh, I did a few things, uh, repaired a couple of things, and then came back to do a little bit of mining. And somehow I screwed up the audio. There was no game audio, and uh, apparently I shifted my screen. I don't know, I, I, I bumped OBS somehow. But uh, anyway, all I'm doing here was I decided to try and see what kind of ores there were in the underground so that we could upgrade our gear and our tools and everything. There were definitely some extremely creepy looking things down here. And the diamond sword did not prove to be fantastic, but it did at least help me defeat this creepy thing. One thing is that it is so dark in this dimension. It just is dark. Even placing torches, it's like it's such a small area that it lights up. It's, I find it very frustrating, to be honest. I don't really know what all of the ores are. This just reminds me of diamonds in the overworld. So I'm kind of thinking maybe it's something comparable to diamonds. So I found quite a bit of the red stuff that looks like redstone, but I don't know how to say it. Pyrope? Pyrope? Anyway, I found lots of that. So I ran back home to get everything situated. Since, you know, it seems to be something you can use for armor. I figured at least it was something. There was tons of it. And then return down to the dungeon where I faced more of the creepy crawlies and seem to have a little better luck with these new and improved tools and even managed to find a spawner where they were all coming from. Whew, that was uh, a little touch and go there for a minute, but I managed to make my way through there and get rid of that and got a couple of extra prizes along the way. I spent quite a bit more time down there gathering as many resources as I could find in preparation for going to the wizard's tower. Even if I didn't always know what it was I was collecting. Okay, not gonna lie, I feel a little bit like I fell out of a bowl of fruit salad. <laughs> but hopefully, hopefully this gear will help me in the wizard tower more than my overworld gear would. I don't exactly know what I'm doing, but I did the best that I could figure. Oh, all right. We've got this. We've got it. I have no idea what we're getting ourselves into. Where is he? I know he's up here. Not yet. Oh, where is... Oh, I see him. Oh, wow. Wow, that was fast. Okay. I don't hear... Oh, I was going to say I don't hear anybody else, but I see somebody else. <coughs> Woohoo! Oh. That doesn't look good. Anybody else hiding in here? Just you fellas? Oh, I didn't bring a pickaxe. Sorry, fellas. That's interesting. Ooh, a key. A blinding dungeon key. All right. We will take it all. One down, three to go. Uh, am I supposed to know what those are used for? I guess I will figure it out as we go along. All right. Hello. Anybody? Oh, please don't be a witch back here. Oh. Is it a trap? Oh. Feather falling. Nice. Okay. I will. I will take the chest as well. Oh. Oh, no, I won't. Okay. We can't... No, we can't break any blocks. Oh, that's kind of weird. All right. Huh? We're still alive? 
<laughs> Two and another key. Alrighty. Oh gosh, how do we get out of here? Not that way. I know there's a witch. I could, oh, there's the witch. You missed! Oops. Oh! <laughs> Just the joke's on me. Yes! And, and a key. That's a weird spot for a key. All right. Oh. I wish I could grab him. He's so cute. All right. Aquite. And we have found the last key. Kitty, do you happen to know what to do with the keys? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. We still have upwards to go. We do still have upwards to go. But I would think a dungeon would be down low. But what do I know? Sword is on the ready. And up. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I guess it's... Oh, I didn't even set spawn. Darn it. Well... What could possibly go wrong? We got this. All right. No guts, no glory. I guess we just have to go for it. I'm very nervous, however. Oh. Oh, this is terrifying. This is terrifying. This is terrifying. All right, where is he? Oh, I need a shield. Oh my gosh, mister, stay still. Maybe I should quit trying to do critical hits. Oh, poison. Bread. Oh, poison. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to hit him without getting in the poison. Where is he? Bread. Oh, I should have put the bread by the sword. Oh, I forgot I brought a strength potion. Ooh. Oh no, it's healing. What am I doing? Oh, I got a shield. Yes. Strength. All right, where is he? Oh, I got the poison again. Move the bread over. Moving the bread over. Kind of like whack-a-mole. You got to figure out which corner he's going to be in. All right. I feel like I'm doing fairly okay so far. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, that, that one stung. That one stung, mister. Oh. Ah. Ooh, that was almost bad. I must went in the lava. Oh, I almost got him! Come on! Where is he? I've almost got him! Yes! <laughs> yeah! Nice! Oh, I might have taken a few hits here and there. A couple of arrows in the head never hurt anyone, right? Right? But we did it! We did it! I'm very, very happy. Woo! That was so awesome! Ooh, we got ourselves a loot bag. Ooh, I really like the red bag look, too. That's really cool. Okay, first I think we should figure out how to actually get out of here, and then we will see what treasures we collected from that battle. That's it? We did it? Alright, let's see what we got. Ooh, a trophy, star flare, a spike shield. That looks cool. All right. Ooh. All right. That was definitely a success. And with all of that adventure under our belt, we can now get back to the original intention of that trip in the first place, and that is to decorate our portal that leads into the Everdon dimension. We will follow the exact same design as the Everbright portal, but just with the Everdawn bricks. That's what we will do for every portal that we add to this little structure. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get it right. 
Okay, I am calling this portal complete. I really like the red and black. I think that looks pretty cool. And now all we have left to do is to tackle going into the nether. Now I have no idea how the materials from the blue skies dimensions behave in the overworld and in the nether, but I guess we can always find out the hard way. It's weird because I know overworld doesn't work well in there, but I suspect that maybe they reward us for getting those materials if we bring them back here. So we'll see. Oh, all right, here goes nothing. Please be a good landing spot. Oh, well, what is that? Uh, are, we're just like on a great big ledge to nowhere. Ooh, extremely ominous and deadly looking, but really pretty. I like the glow of the orange. Oh, you know what I just realized? I didn't even think of this. We have nothing gold on. And I do not want to get attacked, so <laughs> let's run back home really quick. I'm going to go grab some gold. All right, let's work our way down because I want to check out a structure over by our portal over here. Oh, there's so many ominous noises. Oh, they're so echoey. It's really, it's a cool atmosphere. All right, let's uh, kind of stick with what's been working for us so far in this world. And let's enter in a more non-traditional way. Why is there terracotta? Interesting. All right, I say we just go for it. All right, that was a small little entry. And so far, there's nothing running out to try to kill us. That's a good sign. All right, let's check out the downstairs. Oh, all right. It's kind of levers like the jungle temple. Nope, nope. All right. Well, something moved. Oh, goody. More levers. <laughs> there's a lot. Oh, there's a lot of levers. Oh, you know this is totally booby-trapped. All right, let me kind of hide back here. Oh, I'm scared. All right. Did that even do anything? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> no. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Don't panic. Oh, okay. It's going to be okay. Oh, I knew that was going to do something bad. Why don't I listen to myself? Hopefully this was worth our while. Nope. All right, let's head back to the levers and see if it's the same design as the jungle temples where they're... Ooh, there's more than I bargained for. Uh, oops. Uh, I meant to break the spawner. Uh, well, okay. All right, well, that was fun, but let's see what else we can find around. All right, let me keep marking so I don't lose my way back. Ooh, that is really very cool looking with the vines and... Oh, it looks terrifying, but it calls to me. All right, we have got to go over there. Oh, I hate having to bridge across anything, especially lava or large void areas. Wow, I have got to say, though, this is really impressive like this is so cool even the greenish fog it all just looks i don't know like out of a storybook or something i really really like this well at least until something creepy comes out but for now i really like it okay we need to find ow wow what, what the heck was it the flower or the little plant that did it all right not the plant it must be oh it's the flower well then, all right, we definitely need that. Where's the, what is this? Oh, Burning Blossom, huh? Well, all right, it earned its name for sure, but I do like it. Okay, I swear I heard something and I can't, I can't tell what that is. I don't know what to do. Oh, I know what that is. All right, all right, 
Oh, those things are terrifying. What the heck is that thing? What? What is it? What is it shooting at us? I don't know if it's friend or foe. Let's see. Oh, foe. I think. I still don't know. I don't know. I, I'm still struggling to know if this thing is friendly or not. All right. I don't think that's the plant. I think it's the little cranky things. Look at them. They don't look happy. I don't know. I hate to kill anything if it's not hostile. But Ooh, he's going to knock me off into the lava. All right, it's survival of the fittest now. Oh, goodness. All right, and he dropped nothing, I take it? Nope. All right, well, I'm going to consider them a nuisance. Good grief! Relax, fellas. Re relax. You're just you're you're going. You're doing a bit much. It's just a oh! I didn't even look at you. All right. It looks like we are finding a new biome. And ooh, there's something you don't see every day. That is a familiar, satisfying sound. Oh, finally some crimson wood. Yes, I love crimson. It is so pretty. Uh, okay. We might have to use this for our portal. Oh, what? Oh, I hear it. You hear it? I hear a blaze. I have no idea where it came from. Oh my gosh. Where, seriously, where is it? Like, I don't see anything that resembles a fortress. <gasps> Wait a second. I see something that resembles a fortress. Yes, we found it. Now we just have to figure out how to get down there. Ooh, this should do it. All right, let me grab. Oh, ah, there it is. We've officially got the achievement. And now we'll just kind of accidentally break and enter. Alright, let's see how our aim is today. Ooh! <laughs> Unusually lucky, it seems. Alright, we got our first blaze rod. What the heck is that? It's stuck to me! What is oh I hit a piglin too. Dang it! <laughs> this is not going well. What the heck that mosquito thing attached to me? That was disgusting. Alright. Oh, I hate killing these things, but if I don't kill them, they will kill me. Sorry, fellas. Alright, and what's up with this mosquito? What is this? Oh, it really is a mosquito, a crimson mosquito. Ew. Oh, dang, got it. Ooh, we actually found the spawner. Yes. Okay, let me, I don't have any glowstone. You shall cover it in glowstone. Let me just kind of clear some of these guys out, hopefully, quickly. All right, there we go. Oh, that's, that's different. Ooh, good thing I didn't just go digging under there. That would have been painful. All right, let me attempt to set up my uh, little makeshift down and dirty blaze farm real quick so the idea is you dig out a room underneath the uh, so the idea here is you dig out a room underneath the blaze spawner and then you put in what I call channels underneath it where the blaze will safely drop down and you can kill them without risk of too much injury anyway but the tricky part is going to be clearing out the uh, the room actually where the blaze spawner is because we need to try and get as many blocks out from there as we can and I don't have any way to slow down their spawn rates so it should be rather interesting. There are a lot of blaze up there. You know, I, th I think there must be another spawner or it's just insane rates down here. But let me recover and I'll get this sorted. 
All right, so I will usually set down a one block channel and then put a slab on top and then you just dig out right above it so that the blaze are able to drop down. So this is a very minimal example of it. Usually it's much wider than this, but that was a little crazy up there, but you get the idea. It just makes it a lot easier and a lot safer to collect these things. Whoops, and apparently I've got one little hole I need to fill in over here. All right, we are officially in business. Now there is one thing that I am curious about. I, I have no idea if it will work or not, but I have brought a waystone with me and I'm curious to know if they will work between dimensions. I have no idea. And this is the last waystone that I have. Hopefully this will work. Is this... I, I honestly don't exactly remember how I got here. <laughs> but if this works, it will be a huge... Oh, yes, a huge time saver. Oh, that is fantastic. And now the nether portal is officially done. I really love the shade of the crimson in this. That's just beautiful. Okay, now all we need to do is to do a little bit of wheeling and dealing and get some ender pearls. And then we will take our blaze rods that we worked so hard to get and make some blaze powder, make our eyes of ender. And now we will officially be on our way to find the stronghold. So it is as simple as throwing and following wherever the ender pearls land. That is the direction that we must travel. All right, let's see. I swear they used to travel further than this. I don't know if that's just something to do with this mod pack or just something to do with my memory. And finally, we got a specific location where we need to start digging. Well, if you want to know why I don't like to rush in the game, it's because I am very forgetful. And I've just realized I really have not overly prepared for the adventure that awaits us. So hopefully we've got everything we need. But worst case scenario, I did borrow the waystone from the village that we were just in. So we can always get back home, I suppose, if we need to. And we have found stone brick that means my friends i do believe we have found the stronghold no guts no glory here we go this stronghold was a massive structure but i actually found it to be really enjoyable because it wasn't as confusing as your standard stronghold where you kind of go around in circles and you can't tell where you've been and you know this was a little bit more logically laid out and i thought the library was very cool. And there was even a spawner that I found in the back of it. The hallways were massive and led to these fantastic treasure rooms that had barrels and chests and uh, all sorts of loot in there. But that really was not the point of this uh, adventure. I just wanted the portal room. But, uh, you know, there were some mobs to be found here and there, but just your standard ones, really. But I loved all the hidden spawners. And while I said I wasn't really here for the treasure, you know, some treasure we, we just can't pass up. Finally, at the end of all of the wandering the hallways and going from room to room, I finally found what it is we had come here for. And that is the portal room. And this is a grand and glorious portal room at that. So it is time that we place our eyes of Ender into the frames and complete this journey. But not before we put in a safety floor so I don't accidentally fall into the lava while I'm putting in the eyes of Ender. And yes, I could totally do that. Please don't judge me. All right, my friends, into the unknown we go. Well, the landing platform was a little bit fancier than normal, but the rest of the process was pretty much the same. Dig up until you break through the surface. The obsidian pillars were definitely a little daunting to look at. And I was not entirely sure what to expect from our friend, the Ender Dragon. 
But to be honest, I didn't really feel like the Ender Dragon gave me that many problems when I would go up to break the crystal. I got through them all with relative ease and then pretty much did the same with the dragon. The thing that freaked me out was the fact that I did not even have feather falling on my boots. <laughs> I took some really high launches into the air. I even went and double checked to see if I forgot that I put feather falling on my boots because I didn't believe it. And I, I looked and sure enough, nope. So kudos to the materials from the other dimensions. And with one final shot of the bow, it was all over. And we can say we have successfully defeated the dragon and won the game. With that done, it is time to do some exploring. This was definitely not an experience like anything that I've ever been used to when going and exploring the End Islands. Even from the very moment of launching into one of the End Islands, it was a little confusing, definitely very foreign, but terribly, terribly interesting. I had absolutely no idea what to expect going into this. So every single different biome was a little bit breathtaking and uh, you know I needed a few minutes to kind of soak it all in. I apparently also needed a few minutes to realize that there are things in these biomes that are attacking me and I did not particularly care for that aspect of it. I think I'm a little bit spoiled from the traditional end where all you have to do is wear a pumpkin head and then you don't really have to worry about anything attacking you until you get to the Shulkers. But I suppose it is a small price to pay for so many unique and interesting blocks that are scattered all throughout the end here. I especially love all of the things that light up because, ooh, I love any sort of mood lighting or any kind of cozy lights. I grabbed everything I possibly could. The scenery out here in the better end was nothing short of magical. It immerses you in this incredibly magical and mystical world. And as breathtakingly beautiful as it was, it was not really what the point of this exploration was. The point of the exploration was to finally get ourselves some wings. It literally took me hours to find the end city. I had to do a lot of exploring to finally make my way here. And my goodness, was it full of shulkers. I mean, I'm used to quite a battle in a standard end city, but this was to the extreme. But it was worth it when I finally laid my eyes upon the ship. And I knew that wings were close at hand. Now, I'm used to getting into an end ship and having that one extremely dedicated shulker that is always guarding the wings, but oh my goodness, were there a lot of them in here. And there were two spawners that you have to break, or they keep spawning, so it was uh, a little bit of a feat to get it cleared out in here. But finally, we were rewarded for our efforts and managed to get our pair of elytra. Oh, it is a glorious, glorious victory for sure. But before taking our first flight of the game, it's only right that we look and see what kind of treasures there are. And the treasures are incredible. I mean, there are diamonds for days, a really interesting assortment of music discs. There is a totem that protects you from falling into the void. There is pretty much everything your heart could desire. Nothing is ever quite as satisfying as the first flight with Elytra. But I think this is probably a fitting ending to an absolutely incredible journey. I don't think I still even began to scratch the surface of what is possible in Better Minecraft. But it was an incredible journey and I really appreciate that you were here to go on this journey with me. I'm sure at some point we will probably revisit this mod pack. And I highly suggest, if you have not done so, you really need to check it out. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one.